Welcome to Google Keep. So I'm going to talk a little bit about how to use the Android app. This is not available on iOS as of yet. So we'll just look at the Android app so that way you have some familiarity with it. Uh, you can see any existing nodes that you have. You can also switch to list view so that they are in a vertical column. I'm going to switch back to grid view. And here at the bottom, I'm going to take a note. And this is where you can add a title. And then you can also add various notes. You could just take notes on a session. However, you can also add checkboxes. So I'm going to hit on the three lines here and hit show checkboxes. So that way it becomes a list of some sort. There I added a few items. Uh, you can also change the order of these items by grabbing the dots on the left hand side. All right, if I want to add more items, I can just hit the plus to list items. I'm not going to do that at the moment. I can also set a reminder down at the bottom. You can see that there is a reminder option and I can do a time reminder or, or a location reminder if I'm using location services on my Android phone. I'm going to go ahead and do a timed reminder. I can get very specific if I want. If I hit on the word tomorrow, I can set a specific date next Monday. Uh, I can set whether it's morning, afternoon, evening, night or a specific time. I can also set a repeat if I would like for it to remind me numerous times. Okay, so now that I have a reminder set, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna show you that you can change the color. I'm gonna hit the palette here and I'm able to adjust the color of my note so that way it matches a certain category. If I want to be more specific in my labeling, I also have a label icon right here beside the camera. I'm gonna hit that one and I can add labels that already exist or I can add new labels. And I'm going to hit the plus to add this label. And now I have two labels on one. When I go to this note, you'll notice that it now says Android phone and work in these labels. If I ever tap on Android phone or on work, I can see those specific labels and whatever notes are attached to it. What's also great about Google Keep is that I'm able to take picture notes. I'm going to hit the camera icon and I can choose an image already from my library or I can take a photo with my camera. I'm going to go ahead and access my photos here and take a photo for you. There's my image. I'll hit the check mark. And my image is now inserted into my note. What's also very cool is that if I hit the three lines after I take a photo, there's an option here that says grab image text. This is especially handy with documents that have printed text on them. Whether it'll pick up handwriting very well, I don't know. Here it's processing and says grabbing image text and it says it can't recognize text. Like I said, it works much better with actual printed text. Another option on this list of things that I can do is I can add individuals to this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add them by their email address and I'm going to save them. Now this individual can collaborate on my note. And what's also nice is that I have the capability of copying this note into a Google Doc if I want it more permanent. I can also send the note in an email or as a hangout or in another app. Other options include I can archive it for safekeeping for a later time but I may not want it to appear directly on my front screen, or if I want to delete it forever, I can also hit the delete option. When I'm all finished, I can press the back arrow. And it'll show me all my notes. If I want to see a note related to a specific label, I can press on the three lines, find that label, and I'll pull up any notes that are related have been tagged by that label. I'm going to go back and hit notes. And I can also organize according to if they have reminders. Later down in my menu of options, I can create new labels, check my archive, check my trash. If I want to search notes, I can also hit the search icon and I can search specific words. And what's also great is that it all syncs to my Chrome browser in keep.google.com. 